The Weed of the Week is sponsored by the Enlist Weed Control System from Dow AgroSciences, a new herbicide and trait system that will build on glyphosate. You work to protect your farm's legacy and to keep it going. Introducing the Enlist Weed Control System, an advanced herbicide and trait system that will build on glyphosate for exceptional control of tough weeds. The next chapter begins. Our Weed of the Week is barnyard grass. Now, I made a comment earlier in the show that this is one of the easier grass weeds to identify. And I'll just say this, there are a lot of problem grasses and it varies depending on where you're at in the country and what crops you're raising and so forth as to which ones you're gonna face on your farm. But it's important that you understand how to identify grasses because control methods may be a little different from one grass to the next. Now barnyard grass is so easy to identify because it's missing something that other grass weeds have. It's called a ligule. Yep, so when you find no ligule on a grass, you pretty much have barnyard grass, especially in most of the Midwest. Now when we're talking about that ligule, what we're basically talking about is when you bend back the leaf blade, right where it hooks up to the main stem. As you bend that back, normally you'll see some little hairs there or a membrane there. That's the ligule, but with barnyard grass, the ligule is absent. The problem with barnyard grass recently has been there have been barnyard grass plants found to be resistant to Roundup. That's a real challenge because in most fields, that's all we're using for grass control post-emerge is Roundup. So if any barnyard grass escapes the pre-emerge herbicide, we've got a real problem on our hands, especially in corn. Well, that just means we have to step up our pre's. And what's happened a lot across the country is as farmers have gone to using Roundup Ready corn or Liberty Link corn where they know they've got this great post-emerge product that's also going to control grasses. Well, they've said, you know, in order to pay for that because the seed costs a little bit more, I'm going to cut back on my pre-emerge herbicide. I'm not going to invest 20 or $25 down. I'm only going to invest $10 down. So I'm going to use a half rate. Then I'll try and clean things up with post. So if your Roundup isn't going to work post-emerge, you've got to use a great pre. Now you may say, well, wait a second. There's other post options, aren't there? Sure. You could use Accent. That's going to cost you $20 or maybe even $25 by the time you add all the additives in with it. So to me, it looks like a much better investment to use that pre. Plus, even if you do have to use post-emerge control, you're going to be way better off if you can control 95% or more with your pre-emerge program. So if you do have barnyard grass on your farm, what we want you to do is use a higher rate of harness, surpass, outlook, or dual. And you might say, well, hey, I'm using Triple Flex, or I'm using Verdict, or one of these combination products. Okay, that's fine, but you can still bump up that rate a little bit, number one, or just take your lower rate of sure start, triple flex, verdict, any of those, and put in another grass killer. Like verdict already has some outlook in it. Take verdict and blend it with some more outlook. Take sure start, blend it with some more surpass, for example. Well, those are good strategies, Brian. And then again, get out there timely with your post-emerge product, because let's say that you let that barnyard grass get up to two to four inches tall, and you, you realize why, why, why round, are you doing round, two to four inches tall? That's a foot tall. You, you realize and that's the whole thing. You realize that's Roundup where we end doesn't up. work. Now there's no rescue. <laughs> right. Because if you're going to use something like Accent, you need that barnyard grass to be an inch tall maybe two inches tall. At the well, high even two to four inch tall barnyard grass accents, not too but bad. But you're losing yield already. Yeah, that's I, I that's agree. the big thing. You want to get out there early, make sure you're going to get it under control. And if you can't, now you still have time to come back with a rescue before you've lost 20 or 30 bushels of yield. Okay, so in corn, yeah, this is a little challenging. In wheat and soybeans, not so much. In wheat, we would suggest using prepare down, then follow post-emerge. Axial is pretty decent, but there are a number of other grass killers that are okay on barnyard grass. In soybeans, it's really easy. Use Treflan, Sonalan, or Prowl down. That'll probably wipe it all out to begin with. But if you do have any that come post-emerge, Select Max, Arrow, Fuselade, I mean, just about any grass killer is fairly decent on barnyard grass if you use the right rate. So the first key is identify our weed of the week. It's barnyard grass. And when you look at grasses, look for that ligule right where you bend the leaf back where it hooks up to the stem. If you don't see any kind of ligule at all, chances are you're dealing with barnyard grass. Well, that's it for our weed of the week. But stay tuned. Iron Talk is coming up next.